Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Zangi Moemi from contbuild.co.ke. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to place dimensions on a floor plan. And I have opened here one of the projects that we've been working on recently. And this is uh, the tutorial for developing a multi-story house in Akikad. So when I want to show you how to place uh, manual dimensions. We'll start with the ground floor. So I'll go to the ground floor. So the ground floor is active. And the very first thing we are supposed to do is to set the dimensioning units. So and, uh, for here we have uh, options. I will choose project preferences. And under project preferences, I will select dimensions. So as, as displayed here, we have uh, meters and millimeters. And we have also US architect and US builder. We have US detailing. So I'm working uh, using the international version. I will uh, have plain millimeter as my dimensioning units so we have uh, here the unit as millimeter and the decimals uh, will have zero decimal places all as set witness line scalability I will have scaled and click OK so under document documenting tools we have uh, options for placing dimensions click on that so we'll have the, the 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 dimensioning tool active so control t on your keyboard that will open the default settings for the dimensioning unit so under dimension type we have this the first one which is a linear method that is what we are going to use in the marker type, I will have um, this option. And then I will have extend witness lines. This is selected. So in the under witness line, I will have custom height. This third option here. So we have uh, these pens. 48 and this here will have a 88 so we are done with dimension type we come down here where we have the text style and the font type is I'll use Montserrat I can see this here Montserrat and the pen is number 46 so we have the font size has 2 millimeter and this option here for having the dimension within the line is selected and uh, marker and line and, and witness line options will not change anything here for the pointers they are not applicable dimension details will have uh, display height of openings as well so I'll have this selected and this is going to be determined by the width. So I'll click OK. And the very first dimension is the dimension for, for the openings. So we'll pick this end. We'll pick the doors or, or the windows. Uh, like that. So we'll pick them like that. So notice that I am uh, bringing the cursor to that point, then clicking once. So when we've picked them like that, then we'll move to the side where we want to place the dimension line and double click. So when you double, double click, it appears as that. Then moving this this now moving the cursor up once up once or down once or to the direction where you want to extend this line you can be able now to specify 
where you want this line to to be placed so uh, like for my case i want it to be there so i click once to place it so you see we have that dimension in place let's say we need to have uh, dimensions for something like the the thickness of the walls so what i do is bring the the this cursor to that point then it changes to the pen so when i click we have these two uh, dots or other dot like these are the ones that show you have uh, picked the walls so i'll do the same with to that wall to this and to this wall also then i will move to this point double click then click once to place the dimension let's say we need to have a need to have a, these grid lines moved a bit further so that they will create some space for us to place these dimensions so let's say they extend up to this point so i'll be able now to extend all these grids up to that point so even that we have that line and that grid line too so we need to to do that to all sides so that when we are placing the other dimensions we have enough spa enough space to work on so that is moved <laughs> let's also have these placed there so notice what i am doing is i am holding the shift button down that is on my keyboard but the first thing i am doing is clicking on this and extending it to that point with the shift held down so i'm able to now move this uh, this pen up to that point and then the distance it becomes equal to this existing grid line and i'm able to to move all of them to the same eh, to the same distance so I'll do this move it up to that point and this up to this point so adjust all those grid lines so with the grid lines adjusted so here we add uh, options for the first dimension was uh, openings the next one was the thickness for the walls the third one is going to be the the center to center for these uh, grid lines so i have document documenting tools dimension tool active so i'll be able now to pick the dimensions now i'll be i'll be clicking on on these points where we have uh, the grid lines then i want to place them here so when i double click let's say i move it to we just place it on that point sorry did it work well so repeat the process let's say we place them to one start end and i'll be able to select them and then uh, move drag so i'll drag them that line to that point that is the location i want the last dimension is the dimension for the overall length from here the very far end of that wall 
to this other far end that is going to be the last dimension placed at that point so as you can see we have those dimensions in place so if i were to do the same with this side the first one will be the wall thicknesses Let's say we need to capture, sorry, I'll capture this, I'll capture that, and I will capture this point, that point, and I will add this one for this column, and place them here, I'll uh, pick these points where we have the grids now pick the very first end here and the last one will be where we have this column this will be placed here so we don't have we we'll select this and remove that 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 point you have control click on it yeah so that is that is it we need to have uh, dimensions for this other side also so very first and the last bit is this column place this line here pick them pick the dimensions for the grid lines this appears here then the very first point and the very last one so that is the process so you now you understand how to do the dimensions so i'll do this very fast so that i can be able now to explain just a very small uh, concept then we will uh, we'll have completed our project or rather a video for for this session so let's say we have this dimension there we'll have this We will have uh, these the ones for the grid lines. And we will have the overall length from the external face of, of these members. So we can be able to to readjust these back ones maybe up to there so now if you look at uh, at our plan we have all dimensions in place and that's how to do manual dimensions so the only thing i want us to do is to look at the placing of the openings and now we can be able to adjust those so that we don't have dimensions like this where we have five uh, rather 1.651 i want this to be like whole numbers so maybe we can adjust from this point let's say we need to have let's say we have um, move that by 150 And then 
150 gives us that. What about this point? We could have 201. We can have this as a of that by 9 so that when we move this by let's say 33 it becomes 16 and then we have this one here here we have 34 we can move this by 66 we have that we are missing a little bit of uh, something here to so understand where that dimension is going. But with that, you, you, you see you can be able to adjust the positioning of the, of the opening so that the dimensions now work well. Eh? Yeah. Then with this, Can move this to, to that point, and then we can have uh, this moved a bit by fifty-five. So this is a whole number already. Then we can have this moved by. Sorry, select this door and move it by fifty. So that's how to manually adjust for the dimensions and that's how also to dimension a floor plan. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson and I hope you have understood how to put dimensions in place on our floor plan. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.